Today's recipe is inspired by a country that has a diverse regional and ethnic culinary makeup. That country is Mexico. The dish that I'm creating for you today is something that I created after coming back trip after trip after trip with my family to the Yucatan Peninsula. It's very, very authentically Mexican. The first element is the homemade chorizo. We have some ground pork and we're gonna add some cilantro and parsley and thyme and chili powder and minced bacon to get that little smokiness and garlic and ground cumin and of course some salt. And because I love that smoky flavor, and I also wanna get some of that chili spike in there, I have some minced chipotle in adobo. This is a jalapeno pepper that's been smoked and dried, and then it's been stored in a small can or jar, comes both ways, with a tomato puree that takes on the smoky chili qualities that are in the pepper. Last but not least, a little bit of lime juice. The acid in the lime juice helps to pull all the flavors out of some of these ingredients and help them get into this sausage. And I usually let this sausage sit for at least 24 hours in my fridge. Next is our vegetable seasoning. I put a little bit of olive oil into a saute pan, onions, garlic, cumin, a little bit of oregano. We don't want to color up the garlic have it turn bitter. We don't want to caramelize the onions. Add our tomatoes. Season it with a little salt. And we let that simmer until the pan is dry. That means that the standing liquid has evaporated. So while that's cooking, let's roll our fish. This is gorgeous red snapper. I just make some nice crosshatch markings on the fish. I want to cut out the pin bones. On snapper, it's almost impossible to pull those little bones out, cut them out, rather than try to pluck them out and ruin our fish. And I'm gonna cut these into five ounce portions. Get out my banana leaves. These are found at any Asian or Latin market. We just trim away the edge here. A little salt, pepper, sausage, very loose. You don't need to pack it down. Our tomato mixture, the standing water has evaporated, so we can add our corn, a few tablespoons of lime juice, and some of our queso fresco. Put a few tablespoons of our corn mixture, and then you roll. You want them to cook standing up this way. You want to remember which side the corn is on. Corn is on the bottom, corn is on the top. Very, very easy. It take about 40 minutes in the oven to bake. The smokiness from the singed leaves of the banana that come searing through that dish are just incredible. Click it, print it, make it.